today it's really about what's in the heart and the mind of the person. It's not what uh, might be unique to our individuality, whether it's our sexuality, whether it's our heritage. Um, it's about what are we really out here for? And we're out here for agriculture. Good morning, my name is Paul Winger, President of California Farm Bureau, and I wanted to welcome you all to Sacramento for this, your second uh, Cultivating Change Summit. I wanted to congratulate you for having the summit. Uh, so many of you that are here in this room today, I've watched you grow up through 4-H and FFA, uh, many of the others, I know you uh, through agricultural advocacy and the work that we've done together. Uh, others, I've read about you and know you because of the work that you've done. Uh, it's very important today that in agriculture, when here in California, those of us that are involved in production agriculture are less than one half of 1%, that we make sure and we have the best and the brightest working not only on our farms and our ranches, and on those businesses that are aligned with us, either in the supply end or the processing end after the products leave our farms and our ranches, but especially those advocates that are working in our agricultural organizations and law firms and other places that defend and promote this great industry of agriculture, not only here in California, but throughout the country. Yeah, I think the discussion is one that anytime uh, there's any uniqueness that we think could divide us, we need to get past that. Uh, whether it's uh, your nationality, your sexuality, uh, whether it's the crop you grow, as I said before, uh, we have strength with the diversity that we have. Um, and it really is, uh, what is it that drives us to be the best people that we can be? Uh, in agriculture, we need the best and the brightest. We need folks that understand uh, agriculture, the uniqueness of agriculture. That means the uniqueness of our commodities. It means the uniqueness of our growing regions. It means the uniqueness of those men and women who make agriculture and agricultural advocacy a part of their life. And that includes the LGBT community. What happens in California does spread across the United States, and I know everything comes in time. And uh, uh, I don't think it's something that you can force. Um, it is something that we are, have to look for inclusion. And, and we know that for many, many years, uh, so many folks in agriculture uh, have been part of the LGBT community, but it just, was one of those things that people didn't think about. We have to um, embrace everybody and everybody. We have to have a big tent. And so I think agriculture uh, in general is the largest general ag organization. Uh, I think Farm Bureau has a responsibility to show that we have a big tent. We have a big tent for all the different commodities that are out there, whether you're in the uh, organic uh, growing business, whether you're conventional, whatever that is today, because it's a mix and match of just about everything. Um, it's folks that are growing nursery products, and certainly uh, it's including the diversity of the people that grow those products, men, women, uh, folks that are from the LGBT community. It should make no difference uh, what uh, our uniqueness is individually. We need to get past the social issues. We are the way God made us, and we ought to embrace that and accept it. What we really choose to do is what we do as advocates for agriculture, and we need everybody involved in that, whether it's our sexuality, whether it's our culture, whether it's the color of our skin. We ought to embrace all that and work together so that we can be better advocates for this dwindling group of folks that are so, so important, and that's farmers and ranchers and the agricultural advocates that help us produce the food and the fiber that the other 99% count on, not only in this country, but throughout the world. Congratulations, hopefully you have a, a great summit, uh, and hopefully uh, as we look down the road, we will see that there will be less reason to talk about things that might be differences between us and look for all those things that unify us and bring us together. There's much more for us to work together on than to look for our uniqueness that would divide us.